It's a sunny day here on Monday morning, March 8th. You guys ready? Okay, I am wearing, by the way, the Booty Bar Collection. Thank you, Trisha Cashaberti, for this awesome Christmas gift. I love it. And the legs, you don't even feel like you have to work out. They're just so snug, make you feel really strong right away. <laughs> but let's get right to it. So you have 10 moves today. Now this is one of my favorite series, just so you know, okay? So we're gonna sit up at the end of the mat. You're gonna hug knees to chest, and it's called rolling like a ball, okay? So you're gonna make pretend you're a ball, and you're gonna roll back to the shoulders, and you're gonna lift up and stop without touching the floor, okay? So pointed toes, hugging knees to chest, one minute. Ready? So it's inhale, exhale, stop. Breathe in. Breathe out. Roll in like a ball. Classic Pilates move. Inhale. Exhale. Stop. Breathe in. Try to stay from unraveling. Just try to stay tucked. Nice job. Can we do maybe five more? Five. Four. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out three. Inhale, exhale two, last one, rolling like a ball, stop. Now, we are gonna go to single leg stretch. So hug the right knee to chest, left leg long. You're gonna go halfway back, trying to stay looking at the corner of the room. Remember we talked about that. Okay, so chin up and switch. This is called single leg stretch. All right, so you're just gonna gently touch the knee. If this is too much, just continue to bring knees to chest and support the neck with the hands behind the head, elbows wide, preferably, all right? Or you can just try to touch the knee. <laughs> You're doing great. So keep the breathing going. Inhaling and exhaling. Drawing the abdominals in. Breathing in and breathing out. Nice job. <laughs> Five more. Four. Three, two, and one. Take a little break, put your feet on the mat. Now the next one is called double leg stretch. I'm not gonna lie, this is a pretty challenging one, okay? So you're gonna imprint, let's see that I'm neutral here. So I'm gonna pull my stomach in, so my lower back is gently pressing or imprinting the mat, so to speak, okay? Raising the legs to tabletop, you're gonna hug it in. Now, um, I know I did this in a previous video because I remember saying this, it's almost like you're gonna take off your sombrero hat, arms in a V, legs to the diagonal, then you curl around more deeply. Now the goal is that you keep your head off the mat the whole time, no worries if, it, if you have to put your head down, okay? All right, 45 more seconds, ready? Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. So double leg stretch. When you do this one on reformer, you do it on long box. Oh my God, it's so hard. <laughs> So everything you do on Reformer, by the way, if people are curious about the Pilates Reformer machine, it's all based on mat moves, Pilates mat moves, which is what you're doing right now. 10 more. Breathe in, head down or not. Eight. So you're staying curled up the whole time. Six. Great job, what's, on, what's next on the docket? Scissors. Four more. Three, curl and crunch more deeply. Two, and last one, great job. Now scissors, remember, head can stay down, legs are up and one up, one down, okay? And then you just kick for two beats, all right? Can you see me? So it's kick, kick further, kick, kick further. All right, so you have one minute. Relax and put your head down, because that double leg stretch is really hard on the neck. Or if you want, right, you can, oops, <laughs> I lost my kicking. All right, 40 more seconds, you can just, Stay curled up, hands behind your head, elbows wide. So again, try not to pull the, like the chin to the chest too tightly. Okay, you're lifting up because the rib cage muscles are kind of lifting you up. All right, all right, here we go. 20 more seconds of scissors. Kick, kick further, kick, kick further. Kick it up just as much as you kick it down. 10 more. Nine, stay with the beat. Set eight, seven, six, five, don't give up. 
four, three, two, one. Okay, give yourself a rest. Now imprint, hug your belly strong. Raise those legs up again. We're gonna single it out with arms, okay? So legs are up, and you're gonna single it out. Okay, look at a long-legged bicycle. All right, one minute here. Doing great. Woo. Breathing in and out. I love this one, I like to go fast. Sometimes when you go fast in Pilates, it's like a little bit more momentum than not, but not in this one, because your head's staying up the whole time. And your arms are reaching up. And you're trying to touch those toes. And you've got about 10 more, right, left, 10. Nine, eight, smiling is optional. Did I say that already? Seven, <laughs> six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good morning, Monday. Okay, back to reverse crunch, here we go, ready? Up, remember, press your palms down. Use those triceps. One minute, reverse crunch. I'm crossing my right foot over the left. You can just keep your legs straight if you want. Flex the feet. Remember the tray of hot chocolate on the bottom of your feet that are going up to the ceiling. So reverse crunch is all about lower abs, okay? Now the reason why I love this one is everybody can do it. You can do it. You can stay here and do it. You've got about 20 more seconds or you can curl up like that. All right, then you get your upper abs and your lower abs. That's optional. Let's try 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees to chest. Let's sit up nice and tall. All right, you guys ready? You have, let me see. Gotta get my to-do list. Four more exercises. We gotta hurry up here, okay? So Russian twist. Feet together, you're gonna curl back halfway, squeeze it in as much as you can. Feet up or not, arms in a circle, and you twist, twist. Okay, so to do this one for like a minute is definitely challenging. <laughs> as you can see, I am twisting deeply right at the obliques, okay, the side of the waistline. Whew. You've got about 25 seconds. Twist and twist. Good job, guys. Twist and twist. Twist. Positive energy today now. Come on. It's March 8th. I know it's been a year now that we're moving into this pandemic, but we just have to think positively. That's our only other choice, really. All right, how about 10 more? Nine, pick up your pace. Eight, seven, six, five. It is hard. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. Okay, here we go, plank to pike, guys. Inhale, you're gonna go plank. Exhale, pike. Inhale, straight ahead. Exhale, pike up. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Five more. Five. Whew. Remember, every time you exhale, you're drawing the abdominals in tighter. Four, looking up. Exhale, looking down. Three. Exhale. Breathe in, breathe out, two. Then we're gonna add on, get ready, last one. Go to the plank. Okay, this is tough. Take a break if you need to, child's pose. Come on back to it, ready? We're gonna alternate leg lifts. I know, you can do it. Just try it now, one minute. Pull your stomach in as hard as you can. Whew. Looking out a little bit beyond the fingertips. You got it. If you need to take a rest, Drop to the knees or not. Remember, you're squeezing that leg and lifting. Woo. Oh yeah, how you doing? <laughs> this is a tough one. Anything that's gonna strengthen the glutes though, remember, it's gonna be good for your spine. 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, you can do it, three, two, and one, lie down, go to Supergirl right from here. You got it. Breathe, smelling, and blowing out the candles. Breathing in and breathing out. It's funny, when I did my Pilates training, my father got sick and he was in like the rehab. 
and they kept saying to him, Pat, Pat, smell the roses and blow the birthday candles. And I was like, oh my God, that's what I'm wearing in Pilates. The smelling and the breathing out. I thought it was a really big sign. I don't know. Uh, 10, nine, eight, squeeze your legs. Seven, six, five, four, three, squeeze it tighter, two, and one. Whew. Great job today, guys. Just side to side bend. Awesome. Proud of you. Happy Monday. Bye.